Welcome back to another video. It's been a while. Today we're thrifting. I've been doing a lot of buying and selling lately. Uh, trying to flip it on eBay for a profit. Got Jake with me. Jake, what are you trying to get? Uh, we're trying to find some old furniture. He's trying to get some old furniture to refinish. Cheap furniture. So they have a lot of stuff here, but it's uh, some of it's overpriced or right where it should be. Let's walk and talk. Come on. First store, not the greatest. <laughs> Not the greatest prices. I got this Joseph A. Bank jacket. Really good condition. Should sell for about like 35, 40 bucks. Bought it for six. This one I don't really know. It's kind of got some cool stitching on it, some cool patches. It's got a, I don't know, seven bucks. We'll see. Worth it. So the next store is a Goodwill outlet, which is just like a dump pile of Goodwill. Goodwill. Like, do they just lay everything in bins and you pay by the pound? I wanted to go to one of these for a while. They're, they're pretty rare. There's not very many around. There's only like two and like 100 miles from St. Joe. So we'll see what it brings. Just random crap. Like, isn't that crazy? What the heck? I think they just always wheel stuff out. We just got out of the Goodwill bins. It was quite the experience, as I'm sure you can see from the clips. Uh, we stayed at like for a couple of the like new bins to come out, and like people are ferocious. Like <laughs> it's like cows at a feeding trough. Like, there was literally people like sitting down in chairs waiting for the next round of carts to be brought out. Like <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. And uh, one of the workers got attacked. <laughs> like I, it was a lot of fun though. It was like treasure hunting and. Uh, I found some good stuff, but I got in the back because I we checked out and then they brought out new cards. So I ran, put my stuff in the car, and I wanted to see what like how it all went down when new cards got brought out. And I we didn't stay for more than like two minutes, so we just wanted to see the madness because <laughs> it it was pretty intense. Um, yeah, we're gonna go get some food and yeah, a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Found this small little video game section. Found this for $3.99. That's like a $15 game. And this is like a $50, $60 game if it has the manual, but it's disc only, so it's like 30 bucks. Back in another Goodwill. This one's a little bit smaller. We'll see what deals they got. Jake, can you say bust? Yeah. It was a bust. <laughs> World Thrift Mission. World Mission Thrift. Jake, how do you feel about this place? Oh, uh, it's not that bad. We'll see. It was a bust for me, but Jake finally oh, bought no, something. <laughs> Jake finally bought something. Got ice cream sandwich. <laughs> uh, pretty medi mediocre day of thrifting, honestly. Could have a salad today with some decent stuff. A Ralph Lauren polo bear. Got like three little eggs and whatnot. Bought well, that for two bucks. Should sell about 30. I showed these already, but the video games has a good stop. Uh, pretty, a lot of people would look these over, but some decent profit there. It's a random like cars racetrack thing. I bought that for like a dollar or two, and yeah, maybe three. It sold for about thirty bucks online. Wow. Then at the Goodwill bins where everything was crazy, I need to salvage this nice lion's jacket. Pretty clean for everything that was, for everything that was there. It's pretty clean. It's got a couple scuffs or whatever. Found this Pac-12 football, 2017 football championship, USC Stanford. <laughs> a golf club cover. <laughs> These you can usually find pretty cheap, and this sells for like 15 bucks. Random leather bag, and I looked up this brand, and they were selling for like 30 something bucks. And the best thing <laughs> celebrity edition face coasters, new in box. <laughs> I saw these as I was checking out of the bins instead of a bin, and they sell for like 10 bucks a line, but they were just too funny not to buy. <laughs> hey! What's up? Huh? What's we're trying our best. Yeah, we're doing drug deals only. <laughs> uh. Last but not least, the Seahawks hat. We're gonna run inside because it's really cold, but 
Hey, my extension cord. Take extension cord. Profit zero dollars. <laughs> so it's been about a week since uh, the last part of the video where I went thrifting and everything. Since then, I've got pretty much everything listed. Um, probably like three or four things sold. So I'm already in the green on the trip. Uh, even after just one item, I was in the green, which was really nice. I don't know how much of this uh, content I'll actually produce because I don't want to necessarily show everything that I'm buying and selling, but I thought it would be a kind of a cool video just to show what I'm up to and see what my process is and kind of explain how I got into it. So I'm very fortunate to have a really nice space to do this. When I was first starting, uh, well, restarting, I was just kind of doing it out in, on the floor in a common area in the studio here. But right now I have a big room in the back of the studio, uh, my dad's work studio, um, to do my stuff in. But right now it's kind of a mess because I'm still getting it set up, but I'll give you a little tour right now and then maybe do a time lapse of me uh, cleaning it up. So when you first walk into the room, you see all this junk everywhere and boxes, everything. This is my listing area. I got my picture photo booth here. Um, this is just some junk that I just randomly bought and haven't processed yet in my inventory and all that. Got my computer, my scale, my shipping supplies down below. I have a giant roll of bubble wrap in the other room. Uh, this is a lot of dead inventory that I haven't listed yet, along with some shipping supplies and other random junk. I just brought these shelves in here. Uh, I had them, I bought them a long time ago or had them given to me and left them outside and forgot about them. But then when I was thinking, hey, I need shelves, I randomly thought of these and brought them inside and cleaned them up. I actually looked them up and they're actually surprisingly worth like 80 bucks a piece, um, which I was not expecting. These are some of the my clothing inventory. I've been trying to get into more vintage clothing. Uh, maybe not even vintage, but anything you can make money on. Hats, a lot of army, military surplus stuff. I wouldn't say this is necessarily organized, but it's a lot better than it was. Look, this is my dead inventory shelf, stuff that I can pick from now. And it should make it a lot easier to see what I actually have. If you follow my TikToks, you might see some of those McDonald's toys. I listed some of them, but didn't finish listing them because it was a lot of work. Um, but I made my money back on them and some already. And obviously there are still a lot of boxes here. Uh, I only have limited shelf space, but now that that's all on the open, hopefully I'll be able to increase my workflow a little bit, know what I have, and I can start emptying those onto the shelves after I clear them. So basically the idea is I'll take stuff off the shelf, I'll come over here, photograph it, list it, and then it goes into the back uh, where the, my actual listed inventory is. Um, this stuff is not mine, this is just storage. Um, that is also mine. So a little bit of backstory. Um, back in high school, I, instead of getting a real job or whatever at a restaurant, I used to buy and sell antiques. Uh, I go to garage sales, estate sales, auctions, and then go, I'd sell some on eBay, but I'd especially go down to the Bluff in St. Joe and sell at a antique show that they had. And I wouldn't say I made crazy money by any means, but for being a high school kid, I did just fine. Uh, some shows I'd walk out with, you know, 150 bucks. Sometimes I'd go with $500. Um, and then on eBay, it was inconsistent just because I was lazy and didn't list enough. But then once I actually graduated high school um, and went to college, I got a real job at Walgreens and worked there for the next five years and kind of dropped uh, eBay and buying and reselling and whatnot. And then after college, I applied for a job, which I'm currently working, uh, doing e-commerce. And so basically I'm doing this at work anyway. And it kind of got me back into it. Um, it. At work, I've learned what to keep an eye out for when I'm at sales and everything. So right now I'm back at it, going to garage sales, estate sales, uh, auction, not so much auctions, uh, not yet anyway. Um, 
looking at Facebook Marketplace, all that type of thing, Goodwill, which I really never did back in the day. Um, but yeah, so I'm feel like I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm increasing my income quite a bit, and I think I can continue to scale it. I think the things that I've learned recently, and I'm always watching YouTube, uh, just gaining my knowledge and working my way up. And right now it's it's a hobby and it's just fun, like a treasure hunt for me, but I do think I can scale it into something that can be uh, very profitable for me. So after work and uh, on weekends, you'll find me out here working on this, uh, listing stuff, cleaning, organizing, obviously not too much organizing as you can tell. Um, and yeah, uh, and I can always tell the weeks that I put in a lot of hours my sales are a lot better, like this last week, and weeks that I kind of dull off of it and uh, push it aside, the paychecks are a lot less. But between this and working on getting my captain's license, which I'll probably talk about in a future video, um, I'm keeping pretty busy after work, uh, between, yeah, and then doing sports and everything, working out as much as I can. I'm staying very busy, not really ever a uh, down day which is good and bad but overall I'm happy I'm pretty proud of myself for uh, continuing with this and uh, giving like a full effort and seeing results is the greatest thing I have a lot of fun doing this and I don't see myself slowing down in anytime soon so maybe I'll bring you along on another thrifting adventure if you would, if you like this garage sales uh, maybe an auction which I love going to auctions you can get such good stuff uh, bulk stuff for cheap. But if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below, as always. Uh, always drop a comment, leave a like, all that stuff, and we'll see you in another video. Thanks.